It has now been more than three days since a teenager was shot and killed outside of Beloit Memorial High School. Police still have not announced whether there have been any arrests or even any suspects identified. Today, the school district in Beloit tells us it'll be updating its safety protocols going forward. Saturday's shooting happened in the minutes following a boys basketball game. Brad Hamilton spoke with Memorial's athletic director and he joins us now with more on what's changing. Well, Athletic Director Joel Beard says their entire staff is working hard to make sure these added safety protocols do not only work, but bring peace of mind back to their community. A Saturday night meant for high school hoops turned tragic after a 19-year-old was shot and killed right outside of Beloit Memorial following a boys basketball game against La Follette. It's the kind of moment that Athletic Director Joel Beard says will stay with him for a long time to come. There was, there was fear. Uh, there were a lot of people that were scared not knowing what was going on. Beard says he was not in town at the time tragedy struck. Instead, he received a phone call with this news. Feeling helpless, his mind could not escape thinking of those who were there to witness it. There's a lot of people that experience something that is traumatic, you know, and my heart goes out to them. And um, I wish I had the tools to, or whatever, to help them through that. Beard and school officials are now working to make sure this never happens again. For the rest of this school year's home sporting events, the following protocols will be in effect. Increased police presence at every single game. Tickets now will no longer be sold at the door. And now both freshmen and JV teams will be required to leave at the end of their games. We wanna make sure that it's a safe environment that people feel comfortable coming in, watching their kids play, um, and um, enjoying that moment. You know, there's only so many moments that you have. The Boyd Board of Education said they are appreciative of all the support they've gotten and believe these safety protocols will allow them to be able to refocus on continuing their sporting events.